In this part we are going to extend the example from part 12 where we showed the basic scrolling capability of the Antic based on the LMS instruction and changing the start address towards soft scrolling. Soft scrolling is a hardware feature of the Antic. If we look at our example we see this is A scrolling very fast and B it is scrolling one character at a time. And by soft scrolling, uh, we mean that uh, portions of the screen are scrolled with single pixels instead of um, single bytes. Yeah, in a character mode, a byte is a character. In a graphics mode, a byte would be typically four or eight pixels. So if you want to scroll finer, we could, in graphics modes, move the memory, which would be, and and shift the bits in the memory, which would be very uh, costly when it comes to CPU time and the Antic is capable of taking this work away from the CPU. So we create a new folder which is part 13. It is display list soft scrolling. So it's a combination of hard scrolling in the display list as we did it with soft scrolling in the Antic. So let's copy it over and what is needed. So, first of all, we need to make the byte scrolling, so one character at a time, we need to make it slower. In graphics uh, 0, or mode 2, as we have it here, one character is four clock cycles wide. A clock cycle is the smallest colorable pixel of the antic, and uh, in graphics uh, zero or graphics eight where we have high resolution you know we have no colors we only have one color and two brightnesses that's the reason uh, why they are only uh, one why there's only one color and two brightnesses because this is less than a color clock so and in that case in that sense the uh, character in graphics zero is four color clocks wide so if we soft scroll it we can scroll it to four positions within the character and that means only every four frames you would scroll the to the next byte. So I start with this, I load the frame counter, I mask out the lower two bits, that means this is counting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 0 and so on. And we want to uh, skip the increment unless it is uh, the zero. Yeah? So every four frames we want to increment. So if it is not zero, I say skip increment. And skip increment is here. And now it probably also looks a bit better on the screen cam. It's not so fast anymore. At least you could read it. Yeah but it's still scrolling one character at a time and all the intermediate positions are not used. So, what else do we have to do? Um, well, let's look at the Antic documentation, which is there in the help. And it gives us some hints. Namely, that there is a, an additional flag, a bit that we can set in the LMS instruction, it's the bit number 4, so it's 16 or 10. So we change this one to, no, sorry, this one, which is the LMS instruction, to LMS instruction plus horizontal scrolling. So if I only do this, we don't see much of a difference. Okay, so what else do we have to do? Now we told Antic to soft scroll, but we did not tell him to soft scroll uh, and to which fine position of the soft scrolling it should go. So there is a register for this and it is D404 H scroll, which uses four bits for horizontal soft scrolling positions. Yeah, in terms of color clocks, that means we have 16 color clocks that we can scroll. That corresponds to four characters in graphic zero 
or two characters in graphics one and two. So typically you don't need these high values yeah, because already with counting uh, to three you can shift the whole character or counting to seven you can shift the whole character. So what does it mean? We have one more register where we have to write a value to. So we again load the frame counter. We do the same as we did for the increment. But now we say, okay, this one, two, three, we want to use it as the scrolling value. Yeah, so this is only increment on zero and this means set horizontal soft scroll position let's try how it looks like and it looks even more jerky and maybe you can see it but probably not in the screen cam and the reason is that these values when it comes to scrolling are actually reverted so we have to not count it from 1 to 3, we have to count it from 3 to 1. And 0 and 3 and so on. And this is achieved by exclusive oring these lower three bits. Yeah, and if we look at it now, we have our first soft scroller. And now my task is to do this on a C64 or some other machine. Uh, be assured you will not do it with this low amount of bytes. This is why we love the Atari. Similarly, you can achieve horizontal, uh, vertical soft scrolling by changing another register and setting another bit. And But that is a bit more cumbersome because uh, it will require 16-bit address changes. Yeah, because if I scroll not one byte but a full line at a time it means I have to add 40 or maybe 20 bytes to this LMS pointer and that would be too complex for a five minute example. Feel free to contact me if you need this example.